post-workout drinks and some secret Russian sauce in here. What did you put in there? I don't, I wouldn't. It says Believe, Roswell, New Mexico, and it looks like there's some alien Which cup is that? This there. is your cup. This is mine. I have a fresh water here. Guys, so, so we'll, we'll be sipping some post-workout. Stay hydrated. Truly in drink. Truly in between there. Freaking awesome new Truly bottle we just got no order yesterday. Did I just throw it in? And awesome just talking stuff. about the project, as Steve is teaching the project, guys, and this is only for men. Me and Ivanka, for those of you who have not watched the show, this is your first time. We have two kids, Tyson is 11 and Ivanka is eight. She is training with me behind the scenes and Tyson, because he is a boy, he can work out with him. So we make it work. He is training, he is leading the guys that already have done the project or are preparing for the project and we are joining them at the same time and this is how our freak families is doing is we always working out together at least we trying to work out together throughout the week and now because we just made a decision just the other day today is number day four we decided to take our kids off from school from public school and that's what we're going to be talking about today so we're going to kind of mix it in all the topics to show you guys that it's that that is all worth it and how this actually can blend in with our upcoming OTD alliance starting January 1st. And, and that's why they're able to we're able to work out today. It was 115 hour time here on the West Coast here in unsunny California. It's freaking clouds today. It's bullshit. They didn't show me that shit in the brochure when we came here. Look at that. It's a great clouded sky. It looks like New York every day. But we, they're able to work out with us at 115 because we decided to do this home life thing. We don't call it homeschooling. We either would call it home educating or even just home lifing because it's life. We're just living. It's, it, there's no start, there's no end. There's no weeks and weekends when we've been brainwashed. And we've been wanting to do this home lifing or homeschooling so you can understand what we're talking about for, I don't even know, a couple of years now. But it really, probably the project is what, part of what gave us the balls to be able to actually pull the trigger and do it because you get so brainwashed into the way of doing things, the way things are supposed to be, what's normal, how are the kids gonna socialize, they're gonna end up being weird and freaks and whatever. We're already fucking freaks. So it's not gonna change anything. It just allowed us to actually work out together as a family. M Monday or whatever day, well Wednesday, Tyson came with me to the gym, we worked out together, we did some, some meathead lifting in the gym together, hanging on the way there, we're listening to an audio book on the way there, we're talking on the way back, taking him to jujitsu, still getting his socialization in there, not being forced to so if you're not getting socialization in school, I'll tell you that, because they are having to socialize. There's no socialization. You're you're a robot. You're on a, a, a freaking told what to do, when to do it, how to do it, how to think, what to say, when you can't say, no freedom, nothing. So that's why we made this decision. And probably with all the work and all the pushing and pressuring, sometimes I'll I'll, I'll you know push the buttons of some guys in the project to get them to flip the switch and make some moves in their life. Sometimes drastic moves, like picking up their whole life and moving to a different part of the world and then thinking, you know what? We need to do it ourselves and not be fucking frauds. We've been putting this off for long enough and I and really wish we were really doing it from the beginning. The only downside to home lifeing or homeschooling is, 
when I do the live show with the kids, we're not going to have all the things that we always, we have, we have get so much material. All our material we talk about is all the things they go through at school, all the nonsense and the, the, the non-binaries. And, and well, we have good topics. I mean, you guys say, they save all the good topics for years. I mean, Tyson's been going to school for a couple of years and Hunt have been for the past few years. They remember all this stuff. So you guys are going to have a lot of, I think, topics for the breaking the cycle. But I think it's just like, we just made a decision. We just made, we, we, we've been thinking about it, but I think back in, back in the day, like weeks ago and months ago, back in the day, it was like, when I would think about homeschooling, I was thinking like always questioning, like how these parents do it. You know why? Because I was not, not knowledgeable about the topic. I didn't research what California has to offer. So I was always thinking because some of my friends do homeschooling and the way how they do it, they follow a certain curriculum and they have to report and they have to go with certain curriculum and they sometimes get stressed and overwhelmed. So they're basically just doing school that what the schools are have doing at home, which is might as well send them to school instead of being forced to do that. We are completely free. Independent. Just independent. We're in Technically, a registered private school in the state of California right now. We have there is a registered school at this address with these as a teachers. I will be signing their high school diploma if we decide to even give them a high school diploma. If we want to even them have a high school diploma, I will sign it as the director of the school, which is called the oh. EFA Eckert Freak Academy. It is officially registered, registered. in the state of California. <laughs> Why not? Who are you going to tell me about we, the name school can't be named and not named, and what we're going to be teaching today. We worked on inventory of all of our supplies and all of our survival supplies Tyson worked on. They built together, they built some, some glass shelves yesterday. We worked out together. They're, they helped with the setup and the recording here, what we're doing. They helped with preparing the different shows we're going to be doing. They're going to be creating workouts that we're doing. Ivanka, this is home life. Today, she just created the cards. I give her to, totally cards for Christmas. This was her own project. So look guys, this is, this is all doable. This is all possible. But when I was mentioning before, like how how we how we really started, how we made the decision uh, on create, starting the the home lifeing and starting the home educating, and that's what we chose for our book club that we just started a, a book by Beatrice Cullian called Men Up, because in this book he he teaches how leaders make the quick decisions, how to be decisive. And in this, in this book club that we have once a week, we have assigned chapters and one of our uh, children, Avanka, she's leading the book club. She better leads really well. And she assigns the chapter that we need to read. All of us have to stay accountable and we meet once a week as a family and discuss the topic in this chapter. And we ask them questions and they just have to brainstorm and show them the lessons that they've learned. How awesome is this, guys? Like, if we can flip the camera around, you'll see there's hundreds of books on a bookshelf right behind us. The next book, we already have a list. We already know all the books we're going to be doing throughout the year for the book club. They're going to choose their books they're reading on their own, but we're all going to have a book that we read together. We're going to buy four copies of it. We're all going to read it, and then we have actual meaningful discussions on the book, not just Romeo and Juliet or some Shakespeare bullshit that I still don't understand that had absolutely no transferable skills into my real life for art thou motherfucking don't know what you're saying in those books. Like what a waste those things are. So you know all about love. Really? <laughs> huh? About what? Love. Romeo and Juliet. Yes, I am the real life. <laughs> he knows a lot about it. But listen, we already had our personal free freedom lifestyle as much as possible. There always was something missing, and this was the missing piece for us. We already work from home, we already work for ourselves, we've been doing that for literally decades, been working from home, home boxes. It only makes sense to get the kids involved with that. And then as we were launching, first the project kind of really thinks about the family, the fitness, the finance, the faith, why we should do it. We're reading the book, Man Up Together. It's the first, just the introduction is about accountability, about having permission to live life on your own terms, to take big risks and make bold moves. That, that's what this is. And some people have been doing it for a long time, so it doesn't sound like a bold move, like, oh, big whoops, you're homeschooling. When you are in that system for so many decades, as free thinking as we are, and as disciplined as we are, and as, as freaks as we are, it took a while for it to click in and comprehend, like, how is this even possible? 
was talking to one of our mentors in the home lifing space, Matt B. I'm gonna call him because I don't even want to butcher the last yeah, name for Matt, you. Matt, if you want watching the show, you gotta send me a, a voice message. And I was meeting How with him. to read your last name? We were having dinner in North Carolina during the Squire program. The Squire program, a father and son program for, for sons 12 to 16. He was ho helping host it, a guest speaker down in North Carolina just last month in November. And so we were having dinner together and we talked for two hours about this, just getting, flipping the switch in my, my mind, like getting me to comprehend it. Cause I just kept saying, who do you report to? How do you know what to do? How do you know if they pass the grade? How do they go to the next grade? How do they get a diploma? And every question I had, he said, well, what is, who is they? Who is they? Why do they get to determine what your kids do? What your kids learn? Shouldn't you determine it? Like who better? to determine what your kids are gonna learn than you. Like, it took a while for it to click, but it's the next level of, of fucking freedom. And then the final piece of the puzzle, so I'd say the project, the book Man Up, Matt B in North Carolina, all the, the pieces of the puzzle that got us to make the switch. And then when we started working on the group coaching program that we're doing, the, the Alliance, where the pillars of the Alliance, it's a group coaching program for either business partners or married couples who work from home, or if you have a, a person and their assistant, whatever. But We're also working for partners. solo partners too. But mainly mainly for working partners, but could be for anyone. While we were doing that, the pillars of that are co-create, co-elevate, co-operate, and co-dominate. And we're thinking, we're doing that ourselves together every day. But then we send the kids off to school to go learn values and all this other bullshit for six, seven hours a day. Now, sure, we can counterbalance those and fight that when they come home and teach them what we want them to think and teach them how to think for themselves, but that is slowly slipping into their mind by seven hours a day, Not five days a week for nine, 10 months out of the year for 12 years, that's just gonna seep into you. It's gonna be over and over repetitive. Course. Like if they did it to us for so many years, they already have been under the influence. And look guys, look, I mean, some of you are sending your kids to school and we're not here to, uh, to to talk bad about the system. This is your decision, right? This is what we decide. And we just want to kind of tie in to what the OTD Alliance is. Uh, and how yourself. We We're not here to talk bad about it. I don't, I don't give a shit. I, I, yes, but I'm just saying that everybody, that you guys made the decision. This is what you, you do, but this is our decision. We stand strongly by it. And we are finally feeling the full freedom that we didn't have. And... And, and and that's that's what I just wanted to mention that this is this is the next step in what's coming. And and again, those pillars, we were starting a group coaching program for couples and partners, the alliance, with again, co-create, co-elevate, co-operate, and co-dominate. As we were doing ourselves, we really weren't doing enough as a family. And we spend more time with our kids, even when they were in school. We spend more time with our kids than anyone I know, but it still wasn't enough for really the level that we want to take those, to have those meaningful lessons and teaching and learning and conversations. So we weren't living up to that, that code. And I think that's a huge part of it. And it's going to make that coaching program even that much better. Now we're actually living it to even the next level. We are co-creating with our entire family, with our kids every day, all day in the house together. We are co-elevating, lifting each other up, helping each other out. Tyson was giving me, helping me create the project workout. We did a project workout. He sat there and helped me create the workout today because I've been creating the workout for 20, 30 years. I need some new perspective. He comes and gives me these ideas of complete different ways of thinking and doing things. I'm like, holy fuck, I've never done that in 30 years of training and coaching. And here it is, helping me co-elevate, to help me elevate my game in, in program design of workouts. Co-operating, we are operating together as a functional unit throughout the day. They are helping with our businesses, with, with Keep again, we kept keeping inventory with breaking down profits and what's it going to take for a new project that they're working on to become profitable. How long should we expect to get a return on our investment? This is the kind of stuff we're working on, an eight year old and 11 year old. This is the shit we're talking about. Yeah. Real world life transferable skills that they're going to use for the rest of their life and be successful. It only makes sense. We're doing this, we're working from home, we're living this lifestyle. The thing I told Tyson yesterday is we are making them unemployable. These kids will never be able to get a job. So they really will never have the opportunity to have that, the learning experience of having a, like a, a job where you have to check, check in and check out. They are unemployable after this because they have this freedom. How are they going to one day go and sit and check know. in at 8 o'clock, sit in a fucking cubicle or check out a cash register? 
and be told what to do, how to think, how to operate. They'll be ready to run the whole show, run the whole store. They just will be unemployable. So I told them that we need to get these skills down now. That's why they're learning sales and marketing, negotiation. We watched Shark Tank and now we're gonna start watching this new episode. One of the graduates of the project just sent me a link. He was on Money Court and he sent me a 10 minute clip of the segment that he was on Money Court for his business. And it was with Kevin O'Leary from Shark Tank that also does the Money Court show. So I was just watching right before this. We're gonna start watching that. They don't even have the seasons available. We're and yesterday two. we started watching Hunting Hitler. Hunting Hitler with, with Tim, Tim, Kennedy. Tim Kennedy. I heard that from Tim Kennedy. We read his book, Scars and Stripes. If you haven't read it, read the book. Awesome fucking book. Like what are ridiculous stories in there and learning lessons that are built into the so stories. Look, this is just like it. just like guys. It's just twenty four seven. It doesn't need to be. And we we don't create the co create what the school created. We're creating our own life. Home life, that's what we call it. That's why we absolutely don't want to use the homeschooling because this is not a school. And, We're just and the, teaching life. The point is, isn't to push this down someone's throat. It's just to maybe inspire you or to get you to think differently on your own life. What is the lifestyle you want to live? And what do you need to do to get there? What is it going to take for you to get there? You think that's co-elevating. That's actually elevating you because good coach should ask good questions. And that's what in OTD Alliance, that's what the Alliance program is. We want to elevate anyone and everyone, all the couples that will be coming to this group coaching program starting January 1st. And it's going to be a big lunch. So inspiring you that you can do better than now. Like opening up another box in your brain to think maybe it's possible for me and I just need to try. Look, what's the worst thing that can happen actually? I just asked this someone, someone that I was coaching yesterday, I asked the same question. What is the worst thing that can happen? Because we were talking about the home life and that we decided to do it. And she was saying to me, I, I, I like the idea, I would like to do it. I said, so try it. Why not? And that's what it's all about. Just trying it and going for it, but going with full intention and a hundred percent, right? So what happens is when I, I when Steve listed all the people and uh, how we made our decision, it was also, I think, the, the whole idea when we were spending time at home, uh, creating our business, coaching our clients in the time when the kids were coached by a stranger, by someone else that I don't, we don't agree with the values, that we don't agree with, with uh, the way how they see life. So there was no other way, another option other than just thinking, you know what, it's time. We gotta, we gotta step up our game here, life game, life, and better our schedule and make sure that the kids are fully involved and they understanding the whole concept of our home alliance because that's what it is. It's an alliance at home. We elevating, we co-creating, we co-transforming the entire, our family. And we're getting, co we're coaches who are getting coaches. We have coaching, we have coaching calls with Matt B, Matt Bordeaux. <laughs> Bordeaux. Bordeaux. However you, <laughs> you say the name. And one of the things I asked him, I said, what's the downside to home life, to home educating? What's the downside? What is the, what would make it not work? What's the down? He said, well, the downside is if you're a shitty parent, that's a downside. If you're not a good parent, you're not going to be good. Then absolutely keep them in school if you're a shitty parent. But if you're not, then it's, there's no reason not to. Because listen, we, we are in charge of raising and educating our kids. For too many parents and too long, you dish that responsibility off on someone else. So that you can go work all day. And I had a, a family member, we had a wedding in New York just last week. We've been bouncing around, traveling around, RV trips and all that stuff. Because we have freedom. Day, right? Because we have freedom. We're freedom. all over the place. We took, we've been to Death Valley. Our new Thanksgiving tradition is RV into Death Valley. We're going to hike the sand dunes every Thanksgiving. Oh, I did not know that. Hmm? That's a new tradition. <laughs> we, we, all, we all agree that that's a new tradition. Like, what a better way. Because everyone thinks, think about everything. Get out of the box of what you're fucking thought had to be done and normal like well, oh, told to you whose house are we going to for Thanksgiving? Then you go to one person's house and the other person's pissed off and then you invite this person who wasn't invited like fuck all that. We're gonna go in the middle of nowhere there's zero internet. We're gonna hike some cool ass fucking mountains of sand with the dogs and just the, the six of us and a couple of rats and whatever else come along with us <laughs> and live life on our own terms. Even for Thanksgiving. 
And if you don't want to have turkey, you don't eat fucking turkey. Who says you have to have turkey on that day? We happen to have it because that's they had the, the cabin there that we ate in Death Valley. <coughs> but we want to live life on our own terms. Too many, someone, so someone asked me when we were there in New York, they said, how are you going to have time to homeschool your kids when you have all these coaching clients and all these businesses that you're involved with? We're, listen, we're involved with the project. We're involved with the Squire program, the father-son program. We have the LTD, that's the leadership and team development. We travel around the country. We're involved with private coaching. We're involved with the group coaching, the alliance. All these different things. Clothing companies on the side. Supplements on the side. Just little side things we work on. All kinds of stuff. I said, how are you going to have time to do that? Well, listen, all of those things really come down to coaching. Everyone of those things is some form of coaching. Why would, I, why would I not have time to coach my own damn kid? I'm going to teach technically strangers and clients and followers and whoever else. All these different things. And they're saying, how are you going to have time to do with your kids? How am I going to not make time to do with my kids? Even if it means losing some money to go and do that. Why would I make money to let someone else raise my kids and teach them the values and the ethics and the beliefs you don't even have and tell them that about that it's okay. It was okay if they were sick showing up to school, if they had either Corona or if they were at one of their parents' houses that were at that different town that they live in. Like assuming that their parents are just separated. So if they're at one of their houses, it's okay. It wasn't okay for, him, for the, them to come with us somewhere to a workshop or learning, or a trip, or a road trip, where we're going to be doing some experiences together. Wasn't work, wasn't not allowed to be out of school for that. They're, they sent a letter saying they were truant, truancy. I don't even know what the fuck truancy means, but it's enough of a word. Do you guys know what this word means? Truancy, it was enough of a word for me that I know it's a systemized fucking word that means you're following the system and you're going against their, whoever the fuck they are. Like, who are they? Why, how am I going to have to tell they what I'm doing with my kids on a day, why my kids are not there at their school to sit there and watch some fucking TV show and play rock, paper, scissors in gym class. Like, and I have to tell them or else I'm sent a letter threatening that it's truancy. So that's why we created the Edgar Creek Academy. Sorry, we can't see the questions on there. Maybe we should no, go around and check No, it says the audio is not working on Steve's life. Something is not working. So, uh, Oh, there we go. We already work now. So that whole time, Instagram Live. I know what. That's awesome. Well, Instagram Thank Live. Thank you so much. Thank you uh, for posting this, and uh, thank you to my bad eyes that I was actually able yeah, to see The problem see is, it. things so far away, we can't see the messages. So Instagram Live couldn't hear this this whole time, but it's also going live right now on Facebook. Plus, we're recording this. It will be on YouTube, and we'll repost it on on Instagram and Facebook through there also. So. Thank you for letting us know. And this yes. thing must have turned off. It took too long to set up and it turned itself off. This second, there's two mics here. The main mic for the main recording and then a smaller mic here for the Instagram. The Instagram mic must have been off. Well, so. for those of you who are just logging in on Steve, I it's also available at ever.eckerd. I mean, some of you guys know me and you follow me and you can see it, but you can just kind of go in there and check the audio from the beginning. Thank you so much. Well, we fucked that one up. That's right. That's why there's literally four different cameras exactly. recording in four different places. So... All good, not going to stress it. So, listen, we are in charge of raising our kids and educating our kids. You are. Not some overweight, broke person. Like, how, how someone who's broke going to teach your kids how to make money? How someone who's overweight going to teach your kids how to be healthy? You wouldn't go to a dentist with a bunch of fugly-ass teeth. Without you wouldn't get a financial advisor who's fucking broke and driving some beat-up fucking Chevrolet or something. You wouldn't go to a trainer that is overweight. However, people still do it. I don't understand this because the person has to walk the walk. Whatever you talking about and teaching, you need to prove it. You need to show it. Then you know that it's... And on the flip side, I'll tell you, teachers are the most underpaid. Like, they should be getting paid the amount that professional athletes are getting paid. That's what I think in, in general. And it'll, and it'll be a, probably a much more awesome experience. But even then, we want to teach our kids the values that we have. We have our free code, the free values that are up on this, this banner right here. We want to teach them what, what we, our values, our wisdom, our beliefs, our knowledge, our experiences, the things that are going to be transferable into the real world. Plus, I think, because uh, what we do, is we kind of follow the, rule, the, the rules and the setup and the ideas that we do also with regular coaching clients. They've been doing the daily debris for the past four days. And we created our own group, IFA group, for our family. And they submit those daily debriefs. And you know what? Now I truly see 
how my kids start their day, what, what are they, what are their victories are, what they need to work on. It's just now we have the kids, I feel, because when the kids go to school and they're the whole the half day is gone and they come in and we finish our uh, daily work and it's kind of like we slip for the cracks sometimes. A new freaking cool ass laptop and you're using your old shitty one. What? Why would you have to use that one? I don't, I don't know. I just kind of did it. <laughs> All right, the other one. I'm gonna just take no, it. No, no. It anyway, it was so. distracted me. So. You know, it was like, a, it cracked me up the way how they just approach everything because it, it shows their true character. And this is what, it, it made my day, really, because when they submit those debriefs and you can see how they're cracking the jokes, how they see life, what are they working on, what are they struggles, what are they lessons, it's like, this is real life. Because when they come from school, even our kids, you say, how was school? Good. They don't even have anything What'd you do? Say. What'd you do? gym class, rock, paper, scissors, and either they tell you the stuff they learned, like they, they can't even tell you any much meaningful things that they did throughout the day. It's not being pushed or stimulated the way they need to be. So you're not even finding out about them, like really who they really are. I don't know what they're fucking working on every time. I don't know how well they read and write. Even, even though if we check on it, we can help them with that stuff and be responsible with that stuff. You still don't really know it until you're really living in it, home liking it with it on a daily basis. And you just see it. We've only been doing it four days. We've already seen more of them than we ever knew existed in years yeah, it's and years. crazy, guys, because we see two children that they have a totally set of different skills going on and their interests, even though we kind of knew it. But in four days, we learned so much about our children. Yeah, it, was, it was. We spent our days helping and coaching and guiding and mentoring technically strangers and not even our own kids as much as we could be. So now we're doing that at least equally or more. Why would we not? You go and do that stuff so you can provide for your kids. We're just reverse engineering it and provide for the kids off the bat. Probably at the loss of some money again, but that's, who wouldn't? Why wouldn't you that? If you were on your deathbed and you had $100 million in the bank and you, you, you to get that money, you had to send your kids off to school, get them babysitters and tutors and, and extra schooling and they have to stay after school program where you're not there, you're not able to go to their their soccer games or jujitsu practice or, or horseback riding and tennis matches because you're building up that empire and then you're on your deathbed. And if someone offered you, said, hey, you could give back this entire fortune for one more week where you can actually do the things you want to do with your kids. I guarantee you, unless you're a fucking douchebag, you'd give back that fortune just to have that week of doing things the way you wish you could be doing. All we're doing is giving back that $100 million now. I have no doubt we could make $100 million if we wanted to. I have no doubt we have a, a private jet. But I was saying, fuck your private jet. I don't need that. But what it means is to not be able to do these kind of things. I'll give that stuff up well in advance. I call it freak time travel. I've talked about it before. It's freak time travel. I'm just giving up what I would have given up on my deathbed for what I would have given it up for, just doing it now. And now having all those years without the regret and the missed out opportunities and not being able to actually pour into your freaking kids the way you want to. It's time for us to teach and lead them ourselves and teach them how to think. Think about it. What, in school, they're not learning about resilience and discipline and responsibility and self-confidence, how to communicate, how to talk to someone else, how to start a conversation, how to shake, give a firm handshake and look someone in the eyes when you're talking to them, what questions to ask someone when you meet them. I don't doing that. That should be kindergarten. But you know they, they don't teach this because otherwise every single young man would do that. Every single young person would shake your hand firmly and look in the eye. So don't they, they don't teach much. So that's why we decided to do this. About responsibility, accountability, taking ownership, learning new skills, learning the skills they want to learn. Of course, we have to guide some stuff and teach certain different skills, but 50% is us giving options and ideas, and 50% of them is running with the ones they want to be. They're choosing the books they want to read, the, the, the series they want to watch that's, that are educational. They're not learning personal structure or how to have to do time management. They're not learning about finances and how to read a, a do profit and loss and figure out how to make a profitable business, how to start a business, how to do marketing and sales and negotiating tactics. It's just not happening in school. That's just not happening in fucking business school. I've met people that are going to school for business. I can't even get my head around it. You go to school for business. You have a professor who's teaching business because you want to start your own business. You want to get into business a professor who never ran a fucking business, he's just been a professor at business the whole time. Maybe some that might have been a business owner that's now teaching for fun or whatever. Of course, there's examples, but you're not learning about 
finances, money management, time management, time blocking, how to do investments, how to make investments. They're, they're already on computer creating spreadsheets and files and calculations and they're doing cooking and, and training and weapons and self-defense inventory and, and creating our, our 12 month supply of food and water and gear and everything that we need and making sure we have a 12 month supply, keeping an inventory of it, rotating it to make sure that, the, that we're using the oldest stuff first and saving the new, like, un fucking out of this world idea that you, that you never see in a school ever, not even in college. They're doing shit above college level at this point, when you think about it. They're gonna graduate in a year. <laughs> hey, it's our decision. We think they're ready to graduate. Yeah, maybe yeah, they but, this, the, but next week. this guy actually leads to the alliance because that's what's gonna happen when you join the alliance. You're gonna start really living at a different level. And that's what we wanted to uh, outline this today, that you need to step up your game. It's December. It's not time to do this in January. January will be too late. Month of December is the month when you need to make this big, bold decision. I am, are you happy with your life? Are you satisfied with all the areas of your life, your mind, body, and business? Even if you are, there is always another level. So you need to make that big, bold decision and say, you know what, me and my partner, me and my spouse or partner in the business, whoever you have, I am going to make the decision and join this alliance because I need these three different pillars in my life, right? And to be clear, the alliance has nothing to do with, with home life and homeschooling. Yes. We're just saying that was one of the triggers that helped us make that decision. The alliance is a personal discipline and personal development group coaching program for entrepreneurs, partners, spouses that, that are, it's, it's basically a personal discipline development group coaching program for those groups of people that are looking to overcome the struggles and roadblocks in their work-life balance, which we don't even call it work-life balance, but are looking for support and structure and guidance so that together they can, as I mentioned earlier, co-create, co-elevate, co-operate, and co-dominate by building an alliance with yourself with your partner, with your coaches, and with a like-minded, a community of like-minded freaks just like you that are on the same path as you, on the same journey as you, that are also partnering with their partners, where the goal is no longer work-life balance. I don't want fucking balance. Balance is ordinary. Balance is boring. Balance is mediocre. Balance is death. Balance is maintenance, and maintenance is fucking death. I want constant, never-ending improvement, always getting better every freaking day, where the goal is no longer work-life balance but transforming work-life balance into work-life chemistry and symmetry, transforming work-life balance into work-life alignment and fulfillment, and transforming work-life balance or lack of work-life balance into work-life happiness and fucking domination. That's what the Alliance is about, the group coaching program. So you can check the link down below for everything that we mentioned, for the project, for the Squire program, for the Alliance group coaching program, whatever help you need. Again, it's all coaching, which is why we realize we are pouring we pour our lives, hours and days into coaching so much. We are now equally pouring that same amount of energy and effort into the, the kids, which is why it just connected. The Alliance group, this whole life we're doing, is basically us co-elevating the Alliance, our Alliance at home. And we want to help you do that too with your partner, with your business partner, with your spouse, with your coworkers, creating an alliance with them. I'm not saying you have to do homeschooling and down the road, that's what this, you're looking to do. Guess what? Separate. We can help you create that lifestyle if that's the, the direction you want to go, and we could help you create the lifestyle that you're able to do that, and when you're able, ready to do that, there's other programs that we would show you about that help you do the home homeschooling, which we are not the experts in. We actually have coaches in home life and home educating to help us along the way. But if you're looking to create the lifestyle where you feel you're capable and available and ready to do that in your mind, your body, and your business, that's what the Alliance is all about. Again, it's the co-create, co Co-elevate, co-operate, and co-freaking dominate. Yes, and each of this group have, guys, the community. And community is so important in person's life. So my question to you, have you ever joined a community that you felt that tremendous growth? <laughs> if you've never had anything like this in your life, you should make this decision this month. Make the decision that you're going to join. Because when we um, sign up with, uh, with Matt for the home education we knew it 
that we're joining an amazing alliance of people there because these people have done it. Some of them have been doing it for a long time and it's just amazing how much you learn from other people. So if you're facing a struggle and you staying alone or you just have one person next to you and you guys not co-creating, even if you do, it's not enough usually. You need, like the, the same like we, we, we were trying to make the decision to do home education and it couldn't click with us because there was that we were missing the, the group, we were missing the coach, we were missing the guidance of a third person that would bring us the light. You know, and of course, you are you have to do your sometimes self-research and find out things on your own and you can you have to be accountable for. But the point is that you need other people that are in the same kind of group, have the same uh, a, 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 a alignment, looking for the same things to explore in your life, to kind of go to the next level. You need that. So let's wrap it up with that. Again, just to be clear that the, the alliance, the, the point is that we are coaches and everyone needs a coach in whatever you're looking for help with. That's what the alliance is. Us helping and coaching and guiding you in your journey of your mindset, of your, your business, of your health and your fitness as you're working together with your partner, with your business partner, with your spouse, whatever it is, or if you're in the same business, if your partners will have a business together, it'd be ideal for you, or just entrepreneurs who need partners and need an alliance to help them along the path and along the process of that work-life balance. It's all about the work-life balance, that's what the alliance is. And the point of us connecting it into the home life thing is, everyone needs a coach on their path, on their journey. We are coaches for over two decades and still get coaching in different areas that we are not the experts in. But when it comes to the home life balance, home life alignment and domination, that is an area that we are experts in because this isn't something new that we're doing. We didn't just start this. We've been working together, living together, Training running together, businesses running business together. together in the same house seven days a week for decades now. This is what we are absolutely the fucking experts in. So if you need help with that, reach out. But we'll put, we'll put links know. down below this with all everything we're talking about, the OTD Alliance, the project, the Squire program, all the other things we're talking about, even the Man Up book. You should read that. If you have it, check it out. That's what we chose as our first book for our kids it's called Man Up. It's a business development book. We have an eight-year-old and eleven-year-old reading it and having meaningful discussions about it. This is all about. So, if you need help leveling up with co-elevation, co-creation, co-operation, and co-domination, check out the alliance. We will. I just want to mention one more thing because some people might not understand the mind, body, and business. We've been fitness coaches for over twenty years. We've developed the most amazing programs that. Over 25,000 people joined and lost the weight. We had several uh, locations in New York when people were pouring in for help and when they fit into this program. This program now is a part of the Alliance. It's available online when you can join the workouts, when you can join live workouts and will be meeting with us in, the, in group sessions when me and Steve coaching the co group for men and women and then the opposite week when I lead women and Steve lead men because we as you know women have a different vibration than men and that's why we're going to be doing it also together really? together and really? separate <laughs> no so shit. we will be doing it because we understand how we we're running our businesses for many years what happens beside this behind the scenes what we need to work on so you work on separate and then you work together guys this is the value of a lifetime you will not understand this by me just saying it you just need to make the decision and click on this link and sign up today because the whole month we're running this amazing promotion of 247 a month if you're signing up this month for the alliance because the price will be much higher we wanted to have an empowering group starting january 1st now you want me to run like, like dragon after the laser. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today. Thank you so much for participating. And again, the audio this has been was not working. Go to my Eva that Eckhart one on Instagram. This thank has you. been episode twenty six of the Russian and the Freak. We will see you next time. No, you are fucking awesome. You are fucking awesome. You are fucking awesome, and you are fucking awesome. No, no excuse. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being
Silhouettes of you are like a taunt Never really know just what you want With you I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string